guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be an interesting video. For those of you who don't follow my vlog channel, then you may not have met Zoe yet. Zoe is my sweet, adorable lab pit mix dog. She is paralyzed from the waist down and I've done lots of videos talking about her story and everything like that. So I'll leave a few linked in the cards if you guys want to check that out and hear more about Zoe and her story. But um, I've been seeing videos go around of people having their pets pick out their makeup and I didn't think I was going to do it. But I was, I got a comment from somebody saying that, oh, you should let Zoe pick out your makeup. And I was like, okay, maybe I will. So that is what today's video is about. Here's one thing you have to know about Zoe, though. She, she's very calm and chill dog. And she's always been that way, even before her accident and everything that happened. She's just always had this very chill laid back attitude and she just if she doesn't care about something she just doesn't care about something and I just knew she wasn't gonna care about this so it was definitely tricky trying to like encourage her and like um, be her little cheerleader to help her pick something out ready though which one which one which one which one at first, I wanted to lay the products out in front of her and with each category, like primer, foundation, concealer, powder, like each category, I picked four different products and I tried to make it um, exciting by picking like um, one that I like and a few that I haven't tried out that much and just one that I just do not like. And so, you know, to make it a little interesting. So she had her choices and then I was going to put a box over and then once I lift the box, see which one like grabs her attention first. but. Again, she just was not into it. So instead, what I did, since I had four products in each category, I would grab two, and then I'd like get her super excited. I'd be like, okay, pick one, which one? And then whichever one she like sniffed or licked, that was the winner. And then I would grab the other two in the same category, do the same thing, get her excited, and then have her pick. She'd pick whichever one from there. And then the two that were the winners, I had her pick again and that was the actual winner in that category. Does that make sense? So that's how I was able to get her to pick all the makeup. It's all in this box. All the makeup that is going on my face, that is what I did to get her excited and have her pick this. She was getting really bored halfway through. She's like, this is like, she was just so over it. So I had to give her some peanut butter, give her some snacks so that she would get a little more excited and know that by helping me, I will reward you with a snack. So I just had to remind her of that. But if you guys wanna see what look I come up with based off of the products that my dog Zoe picked out, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell so you are a part of the little flower family. And let's go ahead and just jump into the video. I'm so nervous. So let's start with the primer that Zoe picked out. Which one? Yeah? She likes this one. Which was the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've tried this a few times. It's not one of my favorite primers. I just, I feel like with the texture of my skin and it's like dry and sometimes I have like dry patches, this just, I don't know, it feels kind of gross sometimes. So I made sure I prepped my skin really nicely. I put some of the Derma E face oil on. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply this onto my face. Like, it gives a really smooth, silky feel, but like, against the bumpy texture on my skin, I, ugh, I don't like how it feels. Okay, ready though? Go, which one? Okay, Stila it is. So the foundation that Zoe picked out for me is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. One of my least favorite foundations. Ah. <sighs> We are off to a bad start, aren't we? So I think I'm just going to apply this with a sponge. This is, I think, from Flower Beauty. I can't remember. Look how gigantic it is, though. I'm going to just put a little bit on the sponge, like so. And then we're just going to tap this into the skin. I got a text message. The foundation doesn't look that bad, actually. What the heck? Maybe it's all in, like, the applicator. Maybe I got lucky with using this sponge today. Which, by the way, I haven't used this sponge in a, in a while. And I kinda like it. Thank you, Zoe, for making me realize I don't actually hate this foundation. Zoe, ready? Pick one. Yeah? For concealer, Zoe picked out the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. And I actually do like this concealer, so 
I think we're good to go with this. You do have to work a little fast though because this concealer is a little on the dry side. Now we're gonna quickly blend with the same sponge. I'm gonna go a little bit on my eyelid too to use kind of as my primer for eyeshadows later on. I really like this sponge, it's just, it's so giant and like, I don't know, spongy. But like a firm sponge, it's, it's firm. Do you ever feel like with the beauty blender, it's just like too soft and squishy? Which one should mommy have? Which one? Okay, we're about to get full coverage here. We have the Collab Makeup Kill the Shine Press Powder in Ivory Sand. I feel like their shading with the Collab Makeup line is so off. Ivory Sand, that sounds way too light for me, but this color actually works for me. We are all powdered up, ready to move on to the next step. Which one? The bronzer Zoe picked out for me is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in bronze. I don't use this bronzer very often. I think mainly because it's it's kind of light for me. I mean, I think it looks nice. It's, I feel like very natural looking, I think. I typically go for something a little bit deeper, but this is not bad. Pick one. Pick one. Which one? Pick one. Come on. For blush, Zoe picked out the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush, and this is just a nice, like, kind of rosy peachy blush. Oh, mm, it smells so freaking good. That's probably why she picked it, actually. She could probably smell the peaches, and she's like, mmm, food. Which one? Okay, fuego it is! Now for highlight, I'm so happy. She picked a good one. This is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie. Fuego highlighter. Haven't used this in a hot minute, so I'm super excited to put this baby on. Brow bone, cheekbone. So far, so good, Zoe. Which one did mommy use? Which one? Okay. She's about to eat this one. So for brows, Zoe picked out the Bare Minerals Brow Master Brow Gel in Universal Taupe. I haven't used this in a long time. So this product is drying up a little bit, but I think we could still make it work. Not too bad on the brows. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and come back when I have this brow done. <sighs> Let's move on to eyeshadow. Ready, set, which one? Pick, you gotta pick one, which one? Did she really just pick pastel goth? I'm gonna do Paul right in the middle of both of these palettes and whichever her Paul lands on. Pa! So give me Pa. <laughs> it was pastel goth. <sighs> Zoe picked out the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette. I've used this palette like once before. Um, this is a palette I don't grab a lot just because I these colors are just not what I typically wear. <sighs> but we're gonna do it. We are going to do it. Okay, I feel like first I just wanna take Skull, which is the white shade, and I just wanna put that all over my lid just to start us out. Maybe this will help the colors apply a little more vibrantly. I feel like I want to attempt to do some sort of gradient. Let's take Meow, which is this lighter purple. Let's go on the first half of the crease, or let's say first third of the crease over here. I'm really trying to build that color right here. Still not 100% sure where we're going with this, but now I'm gonna take the shade Dope, which is the darker purple in this palette, and I'm going to place that on the middle part of the crease, kind of creating somewhat of a gradient. How's that looking? Okay, so we got that in the crease, and then I'm going to take Doom, which is the blue color, and we're going to use that on the outer part of the crease. Are we doing some sort of cut crease here? Is that what we're doing? Because that's what it's starting to feel like. Taking a little bit of the concealer we used earlier, we're actually going to cut the crease. Who am I? never done a cut crease like this before, but leave it to Zoe to make me adventurous. I am going to start with the color Star, put that on the first half of my eye, and then Clementine, which is the orange, on the outer half of my eye. Wow. 
who am I right now? Are we looking a little crazy? Maybe, but let's just keep on going and see what we come up with. I guess let's go ahead and just move on to the lower lash line. All that's left in this palette is the green, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a gradient, um, kind of like the crease. So I'll start with Gloom on the inner part, and then the outer part I'll use Dagger, which is the darker green. Going in with Gloom, I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on to the lower lash line. Okay, now moving in with the darker green on the outer half. And lastly, I'm just gonna go back in with that white shade and use that to highlight the brow bone very carefully. And then the inner corner. Ready, drum roll. Which one? Okay, pixie it is. Okay, so for eyeliner on the upper lash line, Zoe picked the Pixie and Whaley collaboration. This is the Black Liner Duo. So we're gonna use the Felt Tip Liner to line our eyes. I'm gonna do this off camera and also take care of my screaming child. I will be back. So we've got our liquid liner on top and I did wing it out. And then I put the white on the waterline because Zoe picked out the white eyeliner. Now it's between white and blue. Which one, baby? She picked white. For mascara, I didn't really see a point in Zoe picking out the mascara because they all do the same thing. They coat my lashes with black paint. <laughs> and then the lashes that Zoe picked out, I gave her a wide range. There was like some dramatic ones in there. There were magnetic lashes in there. Out of these two lashes, which one should I pick? Okay. But she chose one of the more natural ones, thank God. Bold face makeup from the Muse collection and the style is Wink It Off. So they look like this. I haven't worn them yet, but they look like they'd be pretty natural. Well, at least compared to the other ones that I offered to Zoe. So we are back, we got the lashes on and the only thing left to do now is finish off with the lips. Lip Mamas, this is your last vote. You want it? See, see, yeah, pick one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> The lip color that Zoe picked out is the Pixie Matte Last Liquid Lip in Evening Rose, which was the most like neutral, normal lip color out of the ones I handed to her. There was like a blue, a pink, and like a red color. So she picked the most neutral to go with this very colorful eye look. And that is this look. Oh my gosh, I actually like it. <laughs> Ta-da, so here is the finished look using all the products that my dog Zoe picked out. I am pleasantly surprised. I actually really like how this look turned out and I feel like everything pretty much kind of goes together, like the blush, the highlight, the lip color. I mean, I, I feel like I, I would have picked a different lip color for this, but it's still like, it still works, I think. I really did not want to have Zoe pick the Pastel Goth palette, but I'm so happy she did because it made me step outside my comfort zone, play it around with more colors, and actually really like how it turned out. So yay, thank you Zoe! I will link below all the products that I use in this video and also my vlog channel if you want to get more of Zoe. That's where you can find her over on my vlog channel and she also has her own Instagram. In case you want to follow my sweet little Zoe, it's Zoe the Lab Pit on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, she's got an Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!